Hi there, and welcome to the review project. Today we're going to be checking out the Z-Wave LED Bulb by Aotech. It's a smart LED bulb designed to turn a standard light fitting into a Z-Wave enabled smart light that will integrate with your Z-Wave controller, whether that be a Vera Edge, Fibre Home Center, or any other model that you were using at home. It's a simple solution for DIYers to retrofit applications where it can be installed without the need for a licensed electrician to hardwire any devices into your home's wiring. It's also useful for retrofitting lamps into a Z-Wave enabled device. It's capable of producing 16 million different colours from the basics like natural white, warm white or cool white through to any colour in the spectrum to set the mood. Or be controlled by a scene such as an alarm to make the light flash red and blue to warn off intruders. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the key features. It's got full range dimming from 0 to 100%. This is good as many LED lights on the market allow you to only dim down to say 10 or 20% in some cases, so a full range of dimming is a useful feature, particularly if you want to dim right down. The LED bulb consumes only 9 watts at a maximum brightness of 750 lumens, which makes it very cheap and efficient to run. I find the light output at maximum is great and provides very good visibility in the room. I currently have three of these bulbs installed in different locations around my house and I find it does an equal or better job than most standard LED or incandescent bulbs made by other manufacturers. It comes in a range of options to suit different global voltages and Z-Wave frequencies and is available in Edison Screw E27 or Bayonet B22 fittings. It's got a rated lifespan of 50,000 hours, which means if you use it 8 hours per day, it will last for about 45 years. The negatives from this light would be the initial cost to purchase, which is around $89 Australian or $55 US. But it is a high quality light that is packed with features and even without integration into Z-Wave, it holds up pretty well compared to other LED lights on the market. Also, if you work out the cost over the rate of lifespan, it's really not all that expensive. It does put out quite a lot of heat on the silver casing, which also acts as a heat sink. So just be aware if you're installing in a lamp, be careful your kids can't touch the bulb, but the same goes with any other light bulb. It is slightly bigger and heavier than normal light bulbs, so be aware if you have an older house, you may want to get your light fittings checked by an electrician, as sometimes they become brittle over time and may not support the extra weight of the bulb. Due to the size, it also may not fit in some lamp holders. Another downside is when the light is installed in your house's light fittings, you have to keep the switch turned on for it to be controlled by your Z-Wave controller. But you can turn it on or off as normal, and it will retain the last colour and dim level settings. A simple solution would be to install a Z-Wave wireless switch near the existing light switch, and use that instead to control the light. The hardwired switch could have a small piece of tape over it, so it can't be turned off by accident. Okay, so let's test it out. I'll start by turning power off of the light switch. Take the old globe out and fit the new one in. Okay, I'll turn the light switch back on. So I've already added the light bulb into my Z-Wave network and what I'll do now is cycle through some of the light settings quickly from the Z-Wave controller. Just bear in mind the video is playing back in fast forward but you can see the dimming, different colours and strobing effects etc such as flashing red and blue. Here's an example of one of the applications in my house. I have one of the LED bulbs running off a Fibro multi sensor near my front door, so when this is triggered, it turns on the light for 30 seconds. This is handy as I'm leaving for work early in the morning, and if it's too dark, or if I come home from shopping and I've got my hands full from shopping bags and stuff, I don't need to struggle to turn on the light. By the way, I will cover setting up the LED bulb through Vera in another video. 
Okay, so that wraps up my review. I hope this video helps to provide some useful info on the light. Please subscribe and leave any thoughts or questions in the comments. The Review Project signing off.